Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my April bullet journal spread. And if you watched last month's video, you know that I did an Animal Crossing theme, which I love Animal Crossing. It was to anticipate the new release of Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I was really excited to do that spread. And then it just didn't turn out how I planned for it to. I mean, it was fine, but I just feel like I don't like how I executed the theme, if that makes sense. And it just made me like not as inspired to actually use my bullet journal because I didn't like the theme very well. And I struggle with that fairly often. I just cannot come up with a theme that I really love that ends up being how I pictured it in my head. So instead of filming the actual like me sketching things out i sketched some things out and sort of planned it in advance before i started filming because i was afraid that i would start filming and then i would hate it and i would just be spending forever trying to fix it which is kind of what happened with my animal crossing one so if you're wondering why i already have some things sketched out that is why i just wanted to make sure that this spread and this theme was really going to work for me before i actually like solidified it and started filming so the inspiration for this month is actually Jungkook's cover of Lost Stars, which if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I did a K-pop journal spread for that song. And it was, I think for my 30 day challenge, and it was like my favorite cover of an English speaking song, I believe. And I am obsessed with this cover. I really listen to it all the time. I love the song. It's such a beautiful, but like sad song. And I mean, <laughs> no shade to Adam Levine, but I just really like to listen to Jungkook sing this song. I just feel like it really fits his voice. And so I just decided I wanted to do like a stars theme that was kind of inspired by his cover of that song. So that's what I was going for. Um, I wanted it to be all black and white. And then I wanted to use my maybe white and silver and gold Signo gel pens that I have. I just thought that might give it like kind of a cool effect so the photos that I wanted to use were black and white and I kind of wanted to do this collage thing on the left side instead of doing a quote page just because I don't know I've been really liking doing like these collages lately where the pictures are different sizes and different shapes I originally did it first in my pentagon concept photos video and then i did it again later on and i'm just really loving it and so i, I just want to do things that inspire me and that i'm really into at the moment so i'm sorry if some of the layout choices seem repetitive but i'm just trying to do things that work for me and that make me want to use my journal So the only downside of using these gel pens is that they are very like liquidy which is great because it makes them like really opaque and they have a very like thick ink to them which I am obsessed with but it does take a while to dry and even after a while sometimes they'll still smear so that's why you'll see me occasionally putting down a piece of paper over top of it just to keep my hand from smearing it across the page.
So here you will see me being a giant dum-dum and for some reason I miscounted my boxes and I made there be eight days of the week instead of seven and I didn't realize it until I like wrote the whole thing and then I was like mm, wait a second <laughs> this is not right so I had to cover that up and fix it but you know what it happens. So the photos that I'm using just to kind of make the spread more interesting really don't have much to do with the theme. I just wanted to use like some black and white photos. I talked about in my January plan with me that I this year I really want to incorporate like aesthetic photos of my favorite K-pop idols into my regular bullet journal just because I get so inspired by my K-pop journal and I don't know I just like to look at them <laughs> so um, I just sat, kind of searched for black and white pictures of some of my favorite groups and I know that some of these pictures were not originally black and white and that someone edited them to be black and white but I just thought they looked nice so I printed off some of my favorite favorites and just stuck them in some places in the journal just to add a little bit more and then here I'm adding a lyric from the song with these letter stamps that I got I talked about them in a fairly recent video they're kind of weird they were really cheap on Amazon but I kind of like them I like the look a lot so I was excited to finally get some
So I am not going to do anything fancy with the numbers on my calendar because I was watching one of Kay Keynote's newest videos and she like kind of decorates the little square like based on what was going on that day and like does, I don't know, something cool in it. It's hard to describe. Go check out her plan with me video, but I want to try that. So I didn't want the numbers to like get in the way of that, but I did want to number them. So that's why they're kind of boring because I really want to try that. And if I get it done, I will probably post it on my Instagram to show it off if it turns out okay. So follow me on Instagram at Strawberry Wee if you want to see how I'm going to try to decorate the boxes on my calendar based on the events of that day. <laughs> So this is like sparkly silver paper is actually from the dollar store and it is left over from the stage that I created for my BTS Mattel dolls. So if you want to see that, I actually followed the tutorial from my froggy stuff. But if you want to see my unboxing and my stage, go check out that video if you're interested. So you might be wondering why I'm still coloring on these stamps instead of just using the ink pad that I use for the letter stamps, but that's because these stamps actually go to the 31st and there are only 30 days in April. So I just like color them in so that I can exclude that one. I guess I could like put tape over that before I stamp it, but then I have to like take the tape off and put a new, yeah, it's just not worth it. Okay. <laughs> it's just as easy to just color it with my markers. <laughs> Also, you guys may have noticed that I'm still using the tape runner. It's still working pretty well for me so far, so I'm going to keep using it. I don't know if it's going to be my new permanent adhesive strategy. You guys know that I've gone through several, so we'll see, but it's working for now.
decided to do a Dutch door spread for my weekly spread. Um, I've seen Amanda Rage Lee do this and she actually did it in her April plan with me. I've done it before in like my first bullet journal and I think I did it last year but it might have been before I had a YouTube channel and before I recorded my plan with me videos. Um, I just thought I would try it out. I haven't done one in a while. You guys know that I love Dutch door spreads in my K-pop journal so I just thought I would try one out. It gives me a lot of planning space and lately I kind of need it because um, because of COVID-19 I am not working as long of hours at work. Our hours of operation are shorter even though we are considered essential workers. So I am still working but I'm getting off earlier. I'm going in earlier and some days I get off off even earlier because they just don't need me there right now so I have a lot more time to film and to plan other spreads so I really want to like knock a lot of things out so it's nice to have like some optimal planning space for the next month at least I teach early childhood by the way I don't know that I've ever disclosed that information but the kids that I have are two and a half so most of them are staying home right now so I am there and I'm working on stuff, but my kids aren't there even though we're technically open. So I've just had a lot of time to be home and work on videos, which is good and bad. It's bad because I'm not getting as many hours at work, but it's good because I really love doing this and I'm really close to a thousand subscribers. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Oh, I also decided to start doing a little now playing section in my weekly spreads just to like jot down the songs that I've been listening to. They'll probably be the same sometimes because occasionally I will go through like month phases where I listen to the same songs. <laughs> but I just think that that would be something that's cool to look back on one day that like, oh, this is what I was listening to like constantly during this time period. So I've started doing it in my weekly spreads last month I didn't do it in my plan with me but I added it to my weekly spreads at the end of the month and I've really enjoyed it it's just like a nice little extra thing that I like having to put down oh also the space that I leave on the right side under Sunday I'm actually gonna use to actually do some journaling I used to when I originally started bullet journaling I didn't have a lot of planning things that I needed to do because I was really just working like now I have my YouTube channel I have my Instagram and my Etsy shop so I have a lot of more things that I need to like plan so before when I didn't do that I would literally just journal like write down what I did that day for my weekly thing instead of writing down tasks for the day and I ended up not keeping up with it very much towards the end because it was just a lot to like sit down and write every single day but I kind of want to incorporate that or bring it back just a little bit so I have this extra space and I decided that at least this month I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna write down you know highlights from the week like on Sunday, I'll just sit down and be like, these are the things that I did this week, or this was something really funny that happened this week, or just little things like that, just to kind of have something to look back on and remember it. And it almost makes it more of like a journal, you know, and then just a planner. So yeah, I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to sort of bring that aspect back into my bullet journals. We'll see how it goes. <laughs>
so here is a look at my final April setup. Um, I actually really like it. I'm very happy with it. I'm glad that I planned it out in advance just to make sure that I was going to like it. I'm excited to get going on April. So if you guys liked this video and you like the spread, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm really close to a thousand subscribers and I'm really excited to do another giveaway when I hit that goal. So Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.